Luke chapter 21 and verse number, well, this whole chapter really is talking about the end times. I don't know about you, but I can see that we're in the end times. That's these right. are not, uh, <laughs> these are not the days we used to be in. Things have changed a bit. And Amen. so he's talking about all the end times here. And I want to read just a couple of verses. He talks about the signs that would arise. You know, uh, many times people read these things. He talks about in verse 25, there's signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and distress of nations with perplexity. One translation says lacking in resources. Uh, you know, you can see some of that. I mean, some nations are just hanging by a thread. They got so much debt. And so he said, uh, distress of nations with perplexity, not knowing what to do because of a lack of resources mm -hmm. and the sea and the waves roaring. Those are yeah. upheavals in nature. Mm -hmm. And then he said this men's hearts in the last days will fail them for fear. Right. Notice because of this, because look at, they're looking after those things which yeah. are coming on the earth and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And so he goes on and talks about the son of man coming. And uh, he said in verse number 28, then he said, when these things begin to come to pass, well, we've begun, we've seen them to begin to come to pass. Yeah. Then he said, look up and mm -hmm. lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Amen. Praise God. So Hallelujah. these are, uh, we use this as our text from last, uh, from yesterday, from last evening. Mm -hmm. And we want to use it again. I want you to see something here. You know, that this basically telling us that right up here against the edge of the tribulation, which is the last seven years of the church age in which the church is out of here and uh, many, many things happening right up here against the edge of the, the tribulation. He said, the devil's going to be real active. He mentions these uh, distress of nations and mm -hmm. upheavals in nature and all sorts of signs and changes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in other places, it talks about earthquakes and famines and pestilence right. and diseases and Right. I mean, we've even begun to see that now. Yeah. And uh, the, so he's basically saying the devil is going to be real active. Right. But uh, the, the thing Jesus points out was, and he said men's hearts would fail them because of it. Yeah. But he said not just because of it, but because they're looking after okay. those things or they're pay, paying attention or their minds are on those things that Satan's do it. Mm -hmm. Now, you read these verses and you think that's the only thing that's going to be happening in the last days. Mm -hmm. but, but while the devil's quite active, God is very active. Amen. The Bible makes that clear. It's the that's last right. great outpouring of the spirit, the harvest of the souls of the earth, the uh, signs and wonders and miracles. He right. talks about the latter rain. He talks about all these uh, things that God will be doing. So, Amen. you know, people, sometimes I hear end time preachers talking about all these signs and upheavals in nature and so forth and all that the devil's going to be doing. I want to holler sometimes and say, Hey, God's got something he's doing in the last days too. That's right. Amen. And people's attention needs to be on that, especially right. the body of Christ. Amen. And so, but he said, there will be those that, uh, that they'll be, their attention will be after or looking after or their attention will be on those things the devil is doing. And he said, because of it, their hearts, the way Jesus stated it, will fail them for fear. Right. And we looked yesterday at the book of 1 Samuel 17, where David said, let not your heart fail for fear of Goliath. Right. He wasn't talking about the blood pump not pumping mm -hmm. anymore. He's talking about a pe people's faith withering, right. their, their spirit beings, their spirit man, uh, growing weary, you know, right. The Bible right. talks about in second Corinthians, if you want to go there, mm -hmm. we, we want to just look at some verses here this morning, right, this evening, yes, wherever you are, depending on <laughs> where you are determines what time it is. Yeah. But second Corinthians chapter number four, let's read verses, uh, 16, 17, 18, for which cause we faint not. Mm -hmm. Paul said, we, there's a reason we don't faint. Though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. By day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Though the light affliction, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worked for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. glory. While we look not mm. at the things which are seen. Right. Amen. Amen. Now, you don't have to be in the end times, although we are in the end times, but you don't have to be in the end times to practice this verse. Right. <laughs> you know, this Amen. verse is uh, just supposed to be the way we live. 
That's I remember right. the Bible said in uh, uh, chapter number five, verse number seven, just down here a few verses later. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, I guess it's uh, where he said we walk by faith and not by, by sight. sight. Yep, that's we right. walk by faith and not and by not sight. Second Corinthians that's 5, 7. That's in right. other words, when we walk by faith, we don't look at things seen. Like, like he said here, he said that, uh, well, we, in chapter number four, verse 18, we look not at the things which are seen. Mm -hmm. But we do look at something. We look at the things which are not seen. Well, somebody said, how on earth can you look at things not seen? Well, not with physical eyes. You look at it with the eyes of your spirit. Amen. You look at it with the eyes of your heart. Amen. We look. What do we look at? The things that are not seen. Things which are seen are temporal. Things which are not seen are eternal. eternal. So faith Amen. keeps its attention on the eternal truths, the unchanging truth of God's word. Yes. Faith just keeps on looking at that in spite Amen. of what's going on all around it. Amen. And uh, I want to put verses, this is 2 Corinthians 4. I want to put verses 16 and 18 together here and look at this. Mm -hmm. For the which cause, just that first statement, mm -hmm. for the which cause we faint not. Faint not. Mm -hmm. And then verse 18, while we look we not. Look not. Mm -hmm. at the things which are seen so right. we faint not because we look yes, not look not that's right amen <laughs> amen there's been that's a right. lot of things in my life people yeah. said how on earth did you get through that and i said i just didn't look amen i that's just right. didn't look i yeah. i look i kept looking at god's word i kept looking at the promises of god i kept mm -hmm. my attention that's what yeah. we mean when we say look i yes. kept my attention Thanks. on god's word amen. you see faith has expression faith's got to that's express right. itself that's right. And uh, there's more than just a few expressions of faith. One expression of faith is what you say. That's right. And, uh, you know, it's important what you say. Uh, praise is an expression of faith. <clears throat> but here he's saying, here's another expression of faith. Yes. Faith expresses itself by what it holds its attention, attention on. on. That's right. It keeps its attention on God's word. Now, when we say attention, what are we saying? Remember Proverbs 4. Verses 20 through 23, 24 mm -hmm. down to verse 23. He said, uh, my son, attend, attend to my word. Attend Amen. to my word. Mm -hmm. Right. So what does he mean? Put your attention, attention. on my word. What is your That's attention? Right. That's your mind. That's, That's right. your thought life. Amen. And we're going to hone in on this today because I have this so big in my heart. I was as a teenager where, see, whenever I was out in the world before I came to God, I was bound by satanic oppression in my mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was tormented, harassed, uh, you know, vexed, whatever word you want to say. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually to the point that I had, it just seemed like a constant headache, like somebody had an iron band around my head and somebody kept screwing it tighter, just a constant headache. And, uh, but I come to find out once I started getting my mind renewed with the word, I found out that it wasn't physical, a right. physical thing. It was a mental oppression, Yes, sir. A, a, a torment in my mind. And listen, I don't, somebody said, oh, that's the devil. He's so big and bad and mean. Well, he can't do much unless we give place to it. That's right. And the Lord started dealing with me how I had given place to him. Mm -hmm. And that was through the things I had been attending to. Yes, sir. Yeah, remember uh, the Bible says over there, and what is it? Second Peter, for, chapter number three, if I remember right, talks about uh, Lot was in Sodom and Gomorrah, and he mm -hmm. was vexed. vexed. He was mm -hmm. a righteous man, but mm -hmm. he was vexed, vexed night and day because mm -hmm. of seeing and hearing their mm -hmm. unlawful deeds there in, in, right. in uh, you know, sure. there in uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, he it says that he wasn't doing them. He was right. he was a righteous man, but he was he was constantly paying attention to it and looking mm -hmm. at seeing it and hearing it. Right. In other words, he's practicing Proverbs four, verse twenty and twenty one, but he's doing it on the wrong things. That's right. God said, "My son, attend to my words." My word. Yeah. Attend to my words. Yeah. Lot was attending to something that vexed him. God said, "Attend to my word," and in the New Testament, it says, "When we do that." it'll be peace to us. That's right. I don't know if you've ever read, you know, Philippians four verses six mm -hmm. through eight. He mm -hmm. said, you know, take, be anxious for nothing, no, nothing uh, right. but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made unto known and the peace of God. Notice mm -hmm. that. Thank mm -hmm. God for the peace of God. Hallelujah. The peace, peace of God. God that passeth all understanding. 
Yes, sir. All understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Then he said this, whatsoever things, that's verse number seven. Then verse eight, whatsoever things are true, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever right. things are just, and so forth right. and so on. Then he said, think on these Amen. things. Amen. 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 And he said, my son, attend to my word, climb thine ear in my saying, so forth. Let him not depart from thine eyes, keep him in the midst of your heart. So these things are to be attended to, and we're to think on these things. Yes. And as we do, let, let's just say Philippians 4, 7 there said, and the peace of God passes all understanding, just keep your heart and mind. When you pray, you cast your care over on the Lord, and you thank God for the victory. And then he said, that peace will come, and it'll pass all understanding and rule in your heart and your mind. And then he said this. This is so important. He said, yeah. whatever things are true, so forth and so on, think on these things. So think to get things. verse 7 in Philippians mm -hmm. 4, you got to do mm -hmm. verse 6. That's right. Pray and, and believe God. Get into faith and get into right. praise and thanksgiving there. He said, mm -hmm. pray and supplication with thanksgiving. And right. then to keep verse 7, which is the peace of God, mm -hmm. he said, you and I have to th guard our thought life. Yes, sir. Guard our attention. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people think they need the devil cast out of them or somebody to pray for them whenever actually it's just the anxieties of life That's right. and the cares of life mm -hmm. and their attention on their problem. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And they're not, their mind is not on the right things. Their mind is thinking on what the devil's saying. Right. Because the devil will talk to you and circumstances will talk to you. That's right. And Jesus said, and whenever he gave us in Matthew 6, I'm going through some things kind of fast here, but I just, mm -hmm. just kind of circle in the airport. Sure. Before we land here, Jesus <laughs> said that whenever we, uh, in Matthew 6, I'm talking about, he said, mm -hmm. take no thought saying, what are we going to eat? What are we going to drink? So forth and so on. Taking thought means don't take worried thoughts from the problem. Mm -hmm. Don't take worried thoughts from what you see. Right. Don't take worried thoughts from the enemy telling you you're going to go under, so forth and so on. Well, what do you mean, don't take thoughts? I just thought, you know, if a thought comes to me, that that's my thought. No, it's not your thought. You, you can reject thoughts. You can right. decide. You can choose your thoughts. Right. You can choose what you're thinking on. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Amen. You can choose what you're thinking on. And what you right. think on is going to determine whether you're in peace or whether you're in vexation, worry, right. anxiety, heavy yeah. hearted, so forth and so on. And right. I'll tell you, I see, I meet way too many Christians that yeah. because, because the joy of the Lord's on the inside of them, the fruit of the spirit's joy, but it, it's right. in there, but they're not tapping into it because their attention's on something else. Their attention, That's they right. took thought from the enemy. They took mm -hmm. thought from their need. They took yeah. thought from, from uh, the circumstances. Their yeah. thoughts aren't on what God said. Yes, sir. And so if we want to walk in peace, we've got to keep our mind stayed on the Lord. So uh, yeah. Job, he kept his mind on all the sin and stuff that was all around him. I'll tell you, right. just be honest with you. You don't need as much news as you're watching. Amen. Uh, Amen. I just said something by the Holy Ghost. On, Somebody just on, ducked because they got hit. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Come you on. don't need as much news as you're watching. Amen. God dealt with me about that. Uh, that's yes, just sir. the devil's mouthpiece a lot of times. That's just right. telling everybody what the devil's doing. Yep. Anyhow, now that everybody's glad Pastor Jay showed up, uh, <laughs> <laughs> amen. So amen. it's important what our attention is on. Yes, I'll tell sir. you, we win this thing. The devil's amen. huffing and puffing, but we win this thing. That's right. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. Amen. Read the end of the book. We win. Amen. We win. Hallelujah. So, but amen. I want you to see back here again, Luke 21, 26. Mm -hmm. He's basically saying, uh, these, when people are looking at all these things, mm -hmm. their, their, their heart will fail them for fear. That's now, right. go over to Matthew 6. I was going to kind of skip over something, but I was just quoting it, but that'd be good for us to go there. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 6. Look at uh, verse 28. If you went through this passage, you might want to mark some verses here. Let's go back before we get to verse 28. Go back to verse 25. Mm -hmm. Matthew 8, 25, Jesus said, take no thought for your life. Yeah. He's talking about worried thoughts. Yes, sir. Then verse number 27, which of you by taking thought can add one cubit to his stature? Mm -hmm. Verse 28, and why take ye thought? Mm -hmm. See, he's talking about thoughts coming to us and us choosing to, th to think them after the thought, the thought that came to us from the enemy. He's talking about uh, not thinking those thoughts after the enemy. See, thoughts mm -hmm. will come to all of us. That's right. All of us. 
but right. uh, it's what we do with those thoughts that determines whether we're going to be anxious or not. Amen. We're going to have peace or not, or we're going to be in fear or not. That's right. There he said, verse 28, take no thought, mm -hmm. uh, or why take ye thought? So mm -hmm. verse 31, to take no thought mm -hmm. saying, oh, right. that's why people say what they say. They took right. the thoughts that they took. Mm -hmm. Take no thought saying. People mm -hmm. say, I don't know what we're going to do. looks like we're going to go under. Where'd that thought come from? All right. Didn't come from Philippians 419. My God shall Amen. supply all my need according to his riches Amen. in glory. Right. Amen. See, here's where Amen. the spiritual battle really is. There's not yes, a big sir. battle up in the heavenlies as much as there's a battle between the ears. Which That's thoughts right. are we going to take and which ones are we going to repeat and say? Amen. Therefore, Amen. take verse 31, take no thought saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? drink? Uh, what shall, uh, wherewithal shall we be clothed? After mm -hmm. all these things the Gentiles seek, your heavenly father mm -hmm. knows you have need of all these things. Seek, seek first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. uh, and so forth and so on. Now, um, I want you to notice here, he said in verse 28, why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field. They toil not uh, uh, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Yet I say that even Solomon always grows is not ready like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is tomorrow's cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Now notice that. Yeah. Yeah. Why take ye thought for all your needs, worried and anxious about it? Mm -hmm. Look how God takes care of the grass of the field, makes them pretty mm -hmm. and puts a pretty flower on it. I mean, mm -hmm. if he'll put a pretty flower on a blade of grass, he'll put pretty clothes on you. That's he'll right. He'll take care of you. That's what Absolutely. he's saying. Amen. And even Solomon wasn't even clothed like the grass of the field. Solomon mm -hmm. was the richest man in Israel. Then mm -hmm. he said, why? He said in verse 30, then by taking all this thought, he said, we become, notice here, yeah, of little faith. Yeah. Of little faith. Uh -huh. So here's what, we, here's what we see. Taking yeah. thoughts from the enemy reduces mm -hmm. our faith down to little. Right. Amen. Amen. I'm Amen. telling you what, that's a revelation right there. That's right there. Amen. People are struggling in faith. They think, there's, they think they're having faith problems when actually it's an attention problem. That's it. That's it. Their attention yeah. is on all the screaming voices of their need. That's the right. The screaming voices, the hollering voices in their ear of the devil, yakety yak yak. Yeah. You know yeah. you can shut him up. God's plan Absolutely. for your life is not that you go through life harassed by the enemy and by what he's saying. You, That's God's right. got a plan for you to have a different kind of life than that. Absolutely. You don't have to listen to that voice, those voices Amen. of care and anxiety. You can answer Amen. them and you can refuse to take them. That's right. You can That's choose right. your thoughts. This is Absolutely. your mind. You can think Amen. what you choose to think. Amen. Remember Colossians Amen. 1? No, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Colossians 3, verse 1. Mm -hmm. three, 3, verse number 1, I believe. Mm -hmm. He talks about it there. He said, uh, there, he said, set your, King James says, set your affection on things above. Yes. Other translations say, set your attention. No, yes. In other words, it's your attention. You can choose where to set it. Right. I remember Amen. a lady in healing school, Pastor Ike that uh, she came, when we were there in Kenneth Hagin Ministries Healing School, people came for physical healing, mm -hmm. and they also came for mental oppression and torment. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, Jesus in his day, whenever he ministered, when he's walking the earth, he ministered to both of them. The Bible said mm -hmm. he ministered to the sick, and he also ministered to the vexed and the tormented and, and uh, those that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. He said all of them, all of them got delivered. <laughs> and so what we see is that uh, these, these things are for us as well uh, to be delivered from not only our physical ailments, but the, the mental torments. That's right. The chastisement, Pastor Reich, of our peace, peace was, was upon, upon Jesus. Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Ooh, glory to glory God. Glory to God. Amen. I don't have to if, See, if Jesus took it for me, I don't have to you take have it. To I don't it. have That's to right. live with it. Yeah. Yeah. I can live free from, see, I grew up with that stuff. I, I, I get stirred up about this. I've yeah. been vexed and I've been free and free is better. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, I believe one of the issues is that many people don't understand the walkings of the kingdom of God. Um, like you're saying, what we think on connects us to whatever it is. Exactly. I believe really that faith, the process of faith is the process of becoming. Yeah. What God yes. already designed for us is set. He has a yes. wonderful life set for us. Otherwise, why are we saved? We're saved yeah. because he has a wonderful life available for us. And faith connects us to that life. 
Yes. That's why he said, do not worry about what you eat. Do not worry about what you're going to drink. For yeah. your heavenly father knows that you have need of these things. Yes. Meaning, if he knows we have need of these things, he has provisions for them. Yeah. But he says for us to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Yeah. His righteousness meaning the way he operates, the way the kingdom works. And the way kingdom works is through faith. Faith is the process of becoming, but yes. you can become without your attention on right. that very thing that he's made available. Exactly. So because people don't know this, they think, oh, by attending to the chaos in the world, oh, what are we going to do? Oh, the news says this or that says that. By attending to that, they are actually encountering the process of becoming. But in this case, is, is the fear part of it which is becoming what the devil set up for them. Yes, yes. Well, that's exactly what Romans 4, remember Jesus, uh, I mean, excuse me, uh, the Bible talks about in Romans 4, Abraham's faith. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Let's go over there, Pastor Ike, you opened that up. Let's, go, let's, let's just look at that. Yes, uh, sir. In uh, Romans 4, mm -hmm. if you're a minister and you never preach faith, oh, you man. haven't even hardly started preaching yet. No, sir. <laughs> Amen. I mean, faith is it. Faith yes, is sir. it. You yes, teach sir. your people how to walk by faith. You have to teach them to live in victory. That's the, this is the victory that overcomes the world, even yes, our sir. faith. But yes, notice sir. here what it says in Romans 4, talking about Abraham's faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Bible talks about in verse 17, as it is written, I have made thee, talking to Abraham, I have made thee a father of many nations. Now, I have made. That's, that's what okay. you're talking about. God said, that's I have right. made you. I have made thee. Yeah. I have made you a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God who quickens the dead, calls those things that be not as though they are. Mm -hmm. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations. Yes, sir. So God, no, notice if you got your Bible there, underline, mm -hmm. I have made thee. I have made thee. And then yeah. in verse number 18, mm -hmm. that he might become. That's right. That he might become. Right. Amen. Amen. That he might become. Amen. So God made him something, but right. he had to cooperate that with that in order to mm -hmm. become what God had already made him. That's right. Now, look at verse number, that's verse 18. Being not, well, let's go back to verse 18. Who against uh -huh. hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. Being not mm -hmm. weak in faith, he considered not his own body. Look at that. All right. Here's All right. how he became. He, that's by right. not considering his own body. Amen. Amen. In other words, we're talking about keeping our attention on the word, keeping our yes, attention sir. on what God said, who we yes, are, sir. what we have, what we can yes, do, yes, keep sir. our attention on that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so we know what to put our attention on because of those verses. This, these verses tell us what not to put our attention on. Right. He said that Abraham, being not weak in faith, considered not. So there's mm -hmm. some things you've got to consider not. In order to put your attention on some things that God said, what God said, and, and which brings you into becoming who God said you are. Amen. In other words, it becomes your experience. That's right. It's not That's just right. yours legally, because all these right. things are already yours and mine legally. That's right. But it becomes ours experientially. That's, That's right. what we're interested in. And the way Amen. to do that, the way to become who God said we legally already are, right. is by faith. Yes. And faith considers not. Hallelujah. Amen. That's it. Amen. Being not weak in faith, he considered not, verse number 19 said. What did, uh -huh. what did he not consider? His own body and That's Sarah's right. body. Neither mm -hmm. yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He didn't yes. stagger at the promise of God, but was strong mm -hmm. in faith, giving glory to God. So he That's didn't right. stagger because he didn't consider. That's right. His body and Sarah's body, Pastor Ike, said that that was never going to come to pass. That's right. That's remember right. Remember, they're old. They're, what is he, uh, right. 99 when they had the baby mm -hmm. or 100? And Sarah's um, yeah. 90. Mm -hmm. And besides, and that's past the age of childbearing. Plus, in, right. in her younger years, she wasn't able to conceive anyway. That's right. So it was impossible. And God said it was going to happen. And so that's Abraham right. said, well, then I'm going to have to not consider the fact our bodies are old. Amen. And he kept. Notice it said he staggered not at the promise of God. He kept his mind and his attention on what Amen. God had said. He, he kept looking at that, and he rejected everything his body was telling him. And I bet you, Pastor Ike, that his body was screaming at him. Oh, the yeah. Circumstances oh, yeah. said, you, you dummy, he's never going to come to pass. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Same thing he's telling so many people in Nigeria today. Oh, yeah. look at the condition of 
the economy. Look at this. Look at what's happening. And he's trying to get you to base your, your experience based on what's happening around you. But God has already made you something. God has already prepared your life for you. It just requires that you not attend to what you see in order to become what you don't see. Yes. So to, uh, to become what you don't see, you have to learn to attend to what you don't see. Yes. And he gives us the word yeah. to be able to attend to that word. Well, think about uh, the, the eighth chapter of Romans, Pastor Ike mm -hmm. here. This is something that the Lord shared with me back when he was teaching me. I never had, I was talking about the vexation I had. You can mm -hmm. turn to the eighth chapter while I'm talking here. I yes. never had anybody lay hands on me and bind the devil that was tormenting my mind. Nobody mm -hmm. ever said, Satan, you, you take your hands off him. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I Nothing. just, the Lord started teaching me to control my thought life. Amen. See, if I, if, if somebody would have taken authority over it mm -hmm. and, and dealt with that thing, mm -hmm. even if it had left, I still had the door open for that yes, thing to come yes, back yes. Yes, because yes, I wasn't yes. controlling my thought life. Yes, sir. And yes, so God sir. just started teaching me. And this is one of the verses I'm going to look at here in a minute. He just kept mm -hmm. teaching me that uh, how to close the door to that tore me. Yes, and he sir. started talking to me about my thought life and what I was thinking about. Mm -hmm. And this is one verse, Romans 8. He told me, go over here. He said, uh, he said, though we, verse number five, though we are, at, we are, are after the flesh, the, the, for they that are after the flesh do mind. Yes, sir. That means they, they put their minds I, on. Yes, sir. Their attention is on. Yeah. They mind the things of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Now, you could say this. That's what the five physical senses are telling you. That's right. Abraham's five physical senses said, there's no way this is coming to pass. God said, mm -hmm. there's no way. Mm -hmm. But see, he didn't keep his mind on that. Right. They that are after the flesh. See, that's, how, that's why people are in the flesh is because their mind is on the wrong thing. Amen. Amen. They that are at the flesh, they keep minding the things of the flesh. They mm -hmm. that are after the spirit. Yeah. They that are after the spirit, you could add, they mind the things of the spirit. Of the spirit. Yes. Sir. Well, what is of the spirit? The word of God is of the spirit. What God That's said right. is of the spirit. Yes. Sir. They keep their mind on what God said. Mm -hmm. And then notice verse six. This is how the Lord helped me for they, mm -hmm. for to be carnally minded. In other words, to keep our mind, the word carnal and the word flesh, are the same mm -hmm. thing in the Bible, to be minded yes, of fleshly things, to be carnally mm -hmm. minded or fleshly minded, notice, is death. Death, that's right. Amen, is Amen. death. But to be spiritually minded is life, and notice this Amen. word, peace. Peace, hallelujah. There's how you get peace. Amen. You remember Amen. John 14, 30, or excuse yes, me, sir. verse 27, John 14, yes, 27. He said, Jesus said, peace, I leave with I you. Leave with you. Ooh. That's right. Somebody Glory said, oh, Jesus God. was just here. Listen, he left you some things. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> peace, I leave with you. My own That's peace, right. I now give Amen. and bequeath to you. Amen. Amplified says, give and bequeath to you. Then That's he said right. this, let not your heart be troubled. That's right. See, he basically said, now you have peace. Now here's mm -hmm. how you become peaceful. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. See, Amen. what does he mean? Let not your heart be troubled. If you're going to not let your heart be troubled. In other words, if our heart is troubled, if our mind is troubled, then it's because we're letting it. We're letting it. How are we letting it? Because Amen. our minds are on the wrong things. Amen. Our Amen. minds are on the flesh. Our minds are on what the circumstances are telling us. Yeah. Like Abraham's uh, body was talking to him. He, he decided, I can't think about what my body's telling me. I can't put my no. attention on that. No. And that's how we enter into peace is we turn our attention away. When he yes, said, let not yes, your heart yes. be troubled, yes, you got yes, to yes. see that's responsibility on us. Amen. People say, oh, I wish God would give me some peace. Mm -hmm. Well, here's what we did. wish. We wish you would not let your heart be troubled. Amen. It's not Amen. God that needs to do something. It's you need to do something. That's Get right. a hold of your thought life. Listen, Amen. you'll never amount to anything for God until you control your thought life. And your Amen. faith will never be worth a dime in the kingdom of God until you control your thought life. Amen. That's and I'm right. preaching by the Holy Ghost. There's some folks that are tormented and vexed yep. and anxious yep. and worried yep. and looking yep. at the troubles of the church and looking yep. at what people are saying. And they're yep. all stirred up and worked up and unsettled. Can't sleep at night. I'm talking to somebody. Yes, sir. And it's for one reason. No, oh, yeah. don't give the devil all the credit. He has a lot of help from you. Yeah. And you Amen. need to stop giving your mind over to him and thinking his thoughts after him. Sure, Amen. the thoughts come. 
Sure, yeah. the mind is, is, is the, the, the thoughts are bombarding your thought life, but choose to set your choose. attention. Hallelujah. You can choose. Amen. You can choose Amen. to set your attention on things above. Yes, sir. Just Amen. like he said here, to be, to be spiritually minded is life, life and, and peace. peace. Praise God. Here's how you enter into peace. Mm -hmm. Now, the way the Lord said this, he said, you said something a minute ago, Pastor Ike, why I went to this verse. Mm -hmm. When I was learning how to control my thought life and get out of that vexation, the Lord showed me this verse, and he basically showed it to me this way, exactly how Pastor Ike said it a minute ago, to be carnally minded is death. In other words, it connects you yes, to the sir. realm of spiritual death. Yes, doesn't mean yes, you're not yes. born again. I mean the realm of darkness where Satan yeah. harasses and torments yeah. and, and confuses yeah. and, and all of that. That's right. But he said to be spiritually minded is peace, life and peace. In other Hallelujah. words, that's how you connect to Amen. life and peace. Amen. See, you got to make a connection with what belongs to you. That's right. That's right. Amen. Many of the people have not been taught that even though we're delivered, we're redeemed, God has placed the responsibility yes. of enjoying those things he provided on the believer. Yes, he has. That's where faith comes in. Unfortunately, many of the people are just geared towards praying. If you have this prayer, if you have this prayer, yep. but without proper knowledge of God's word, prayer will not be effective. Your prayer won't work if your mind is full of worries. Your prayer won't work if your mind is full of all that the devil is doing. The churches we have today, Dad, is mainly like, oh, come, let me pray for you. People go to collect prayers when we should teach them the importance of training their thinking to match the word of God, for them to see the responsibility of renewing right. their mind to right. think like the word, because until they do, they wouldn't become. Yes, exactly. And this is a dis this is a Christian discipline that believers yes. must practice. Amen. The devil can only contact a believer because he doesn't live inside the believer. That's we're right. There, we're the temple of the Holy Ghost. Right. <laughs> now, Amen. I mean, God took over our spirit when we were born again. Yes, sir. That's not the devil's property. He can't no, contact sir. you in your spirit. But That's right. he's outside of our being. He's called mm -hmm. the Prince of the Power of the Air. He's out here. Yes, sir. And out here, he'll try to contact us from the outside mm -hmm. of our being. And mm -hmm. the way he does it is either through the flesh or through mm -hmm. the mind. That's right. That's the only That's way right. he can yeah. contact us or harass us or, or, or do, his, do his thing. So yeah. what we do with our flesh or our mind determines whether we have the peace of God or whether we become who God said we are. That's right. And really, to be honest, it's whether we're going to be in faith or not. That's right. That's right. Now, That's right. I, Back here in Romans, mm -hmm. Romans chapter number four, the Lord said mm -hmm. this to me, based this on uh, verse number uh, 19 one time. He spoke this to me. It says yes. about Abraham's faith, being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body. Mm -hmm. In other words, let's, let's put it, it says being not weak. So let's flip that. Because he was strong in faith, he didn't right. consider. Right. And the Lord said to me this one time, he said, he said weak faith considers the circumstances. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 In other words, if in other words, weak, let, let's let's flip it on the other side. Strong faith has a hold of your thought life. That's right. It will not let your thoughts go there. That's right. That's, That's what right. strong faith does. See, in other words, it's an expression of our faith to control our thought life. Yes, sir. And it is our thought. Amen. I mean, our, our thought life. It is our mm -hmm. thought. We can choose yes. what we think on. Yes. Our Amen. minds, Pastor Ike, are not the devil's workshop. That's right. No, sir. Amen. Amen. There is a battle on for our minds. Yes. People talk about some war up in the heavens. No, the battle, Paul said very clearly in 2 Corinthians, you know, uh, chapter number 10, 10. verses 4, yes. 5, and down and through there. The weapons yes. of our warfare are not carnal. They're mighty through God to the pulling down of number one, strongholds. Strong People holes, think, that's yes. right. They're up there in heaven. Now, wait a minute. Keep no. on reading. Casting mm -hmm. down number two, imaginations. Imaginations. And bringing into captivity into every captivity. thought, 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 mm -hmm. thought, thought. So we've got strongholds, Amen. imaginations, and thoughts. Yes. Thoughts that are uncontrolled open the door for imaginations and imaginations right. that are uncontrolled opens the door for strongholds. Stronghold. But those that's are all, I'm talking about strongholds between the, 
between the ears. <laughs> yes. Amen. He's not talking about strongholds up in the heavens. He's no, talking sir. about thoughts and imagination. Imaginations is something one does in the mind. And That's a right. thought is something somebody does in the mind. So is a stronghold. Yeah. Yes. And Satan's on. The war is on for people's yeah. attention. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, and so the battle is for our minds. And uh, that's where the war is in the believer's life. Mm -hmm. Satan already lost our spirits. Mm -hmm. But listen, he's not playing games. He wants to take as much ground, even in believers' lives, if they'll let him. Yep. A believer yep, can be, be you know, a person can be born again and, and thoroughly saved, but tormented and vexed in their mind. See, we're three-part beings, spirits, soul, and body. Our, right. our soul includes our mind, will, and emotions. Yes. And, and Jesus is, is Lord of our spirits, but Satan wants to take as much ground as possible mm -hmm. in our lives. Yes. And uh, like, for example, I remember, but let me back up and say, and one way we can keep him from doing that is we control our thought life. That's it. We control our thought life because Amen. our mind is not the devil's workshop. That's right. Amen. But Amen. Satan, Satan's not playing games. I remember a lady came to healing school one time because like I said, I began to talk about this a minute ago, um, but she came to healing school because she was extremely vexed. When I say vexed, I'm talking about emotionally and mentally, and mm -hmm. I'll never forget the first time I saw her, I, I greeted her, and whenever I greeted her, I just sort of greeted her and sort of backed up. She was mm -hmm. so vexed looking in her eyes, it looked like she could just haul off and hit you. She mm -hmm. was tormented. She, she looked mad and mean. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought, well, you know, she's in the right place. Yeah. And we began to minister, and she was there for weeks. And I'll never forget one time, uh, she, she, there were times where her mind was so gone mm. that she really didn't know who she was or wow. where she was, what her name was, or anything. And somebody said, somebody needs to cast the devil out of her. We said, no, no, mm. we can cast that out, but it'll come right back. That's right. It'll come right back. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is teach her how, because she, now listen, remember yesterday we said, neither give place, place to, to the, the devil. devil. Yes, sir. How can Satan get to a believer to the place where they're almost, they're, their mind is almost gone or their mind is gone? Mm -hmm. Only one way. Somebody gave, that, that believer gave him place. That's right. Only one way. Satan can't just steamroll over a believer. Believers no, have authority. That's right. You know what I mean? That's right. We can take authority over Satan, but you can't take authority over Satan with your words and then not control your, your mind. That's right. Because, That's right. But because you, you gotta, you gotta control your thought life. He, he gets thoughts of fear, thoughts of anxiety, thoughts of offense, thoughts of whatever into your thought life. And he'll start working those and working those and working those. And he'll torment you out of your mind. That's right. That's and that right. lady had yielded to that. So, so uh, one day she did, she was there and she did, she was out of her head. She didn't know where she was. She didn't know who she was. And one of the ministers there sat her down and said, look at me, look at me right in the eyes. Mm -hmm. And she's like, who, where am I? And he said, what's your name? He wasn't talking to the devil. He's talking to the mm -hmm. lady, not talking right. to the devil. Right. People say, oh, he's calling the devil, looking for the devil's name. That's not what he was talking no. about. No, what, he was talking to the lady. What is your name? What is your name? Oh, uh, she wasn't sure. What is your name? Get a hold of your thought life. What's your name? Mm -hmm. and, and eventually she gave her name. As soon as he said, she said what her name was. He said, now, where do you live? What's your physical address? And she mm -hmm. started giving her physical address and she started getting a hold of her mind. And eventually yeah. she came back. Yeah. Her mind yes. came back. Yes, and she's functioning yes. normal and in her mind. And he said, mm -hmm. now, he said to this lady, he said, now, the reason you were at that place is you had given place to your thought life to the point to where Satan was taking over your thought life. And you didn't even hardly know who you were, but notice yeah. how you got it back. You got a hold of your thoughts. Mm. You got a hold of your thoughts. That's now right. repeat after me. I have the mind of Christ. And he started taking her into the word of God. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And uh, that lady uh, was totally set free. Mm -hmm. I remember walking in one day in healing school back. Uh, this was after a couple of weeks. I had been out of town preaching. I came back in town and I was doing a PM uh, 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 a Friday PM healing school service. And I walked in and I scanned the crowd just to see if I, you know, see who was there. And I'll never forget it. I scanned the crowd and I saw her, mm -hmm. but I didn't recognize her. I saw oh, her and I God. thought, oh, she's a visitor. I never met her before. And I scanned. No, I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. And I looked at her again. I said, that's that lady. That's that lady. 
because yeah. she had before she had she was all ragged her clothes were all messed up she looked like yeah. you know she's just sloppy and dirty her hair is uh, every which way and mm -hmm. she's not clean she's just she's tormented mm -hmm. but boy that day she was cleaned up she had everything decked she looked nice her hair was combed her mm -hmm. facial expressions were full of joy and mm -hmm. she was complete i didn't even recognize her pastor i yeah because totally. that torment was gone Praise somebody said God. why did somebody cast the devil out nope we just taught her to control her thought life amen and she amen. had peace not only peace in her heart because anybody born again has peace with god in their heart but she had peace in her mind hmm. glory hallelujah to god amen. it's your attention you can put it where you choose yes 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 amen Amen. It's not Satan's captive. Your attention no, is not Satan's no. captive. No, sir. Amen. No, sir. Too many times people's attentions like the it like it's like their attention is is the devil's dog on the end of his leash. Right. You know, they just right. he just controls them, pulls on them, and pulls them over yeah. to their attention over here, yeah. pulls their attention over here, yeah. and the, and and because they're they're not controlling their thought life, their mind, and and the devil will stir, stir up circumstances, and he he does that to grab their attention. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. So this lady that you were talking about that if you hadn't gotten the opportunity to get the word of God into her thinking, yeah. to help her get a hold of her thinking, her experience would have continued to go the same way. Yeah. That's what we see today. She would and not have become. She would not have become. <laughs> That's what we see in many lives today. Yeah. Part of the reason that the struggling in many lives are continuing is because they haven't gotten a hold of their attention yes. and put their attention on the word of God. Yeah. Many are praying, many are yeah. fasting, but yeah. that's not what's going to change the outcome if yeah. they don't put their attention on the word of God. Yeah. Because for the blessing to flow like it's supposed to, it, it requires faith yeah. and faith is you putting your attention on what God said and yeah. refusing to take it away from it. No That's matter one what of the expressions see. of faith. Exactly. Amen. Yeah. And no matter what you feel. Yeah, exactly. And so until say, that changes, nothing happens. Exactly. The devil is bidding high for people's attention. Yes, sir. He will fight you in this area. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you have to fight the devil. I mean, you right. have to control your thought life. Right. To fight the good fight of faith. Yes, you sir. You have to control your thought life. Yes, sir. That's what happened to Peter walking on the water. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He didn't fight the good fight of faith. He didn't hold his attention on come. He had, he got his attention. He started he started out with his attention on come, but then he mm -hmm. got his attention over on the wind and the waves. Yes, yes, yes. I want you to look at that again. I want to, I want to look at something about that. Yes, sir. Because it says there in the 14th chapter of Matthew is where we are. I just turned there mm -hmm. because of something you said, Pastor Ike. Yes, sir. It, I want you to notice it says that when we talked about this yesterday, so you know the story here. When he's verse number 30, when he saw the wind boisterous, yes, 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 he yes. was afraid. Yes. And beginning to sink. Mm -hmm. See, he saw, he had seen that wind from before he got out of the boat. That's right. That wind had been blowing. The waves had been chopping and he was, right. he was seeing all of that. That's not, when right. it says he saw the wind boisterous. That doesn't mean he first, he just woke up out of a nap and that's the first time he saw it. He was wide awake. He had seen that's it, right. but see that's his right. attention when he came down out of that boat and stepped mm -hmm. on that water, because Jesus had said, come his attention mm -hmm. wasn't on that. His attention was on Jesus. His attention was on come. Right. And then he got out there and he started, then he got his attention on the wind and the waves. Why? Yes. Because notice it says he saw the wind boisterous. Right. I want you to see that word boisterous. Mm -hmm. That's the way circumstances come. That's the way the devil talks. Yes. Why? Because he's trying to grab your attention. Yes. He's trying to alarm you. Yes. You understand what I'm talking about? He talks Amen. loud. He talks. He, he's he's. He likes to stir up alarming circumstances because yes. he wants to get a person's attention. Yes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And yes, uh, a person who's real boisterous, I remember growing up in elementary school, there was a bully in my class <laughs> and he was real boisterous. He always talked real loud. You know? 
And the reason was he's trying to get your attention. Yep. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. yeah. And so that's the way the devil talks. And that's the way circumstances talk because they're trying to get your attention. Right. Now, walking by faith doesn't mean you don't hear the voice of the enemy. Amen. The Bible says, <laughs> Psalm 23, 5, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Hallelujah. <laughs> I on. mean, right there, while right you're there. walking by faith, the enemies are going, yank, yeah, kitty, yank, yank. Yeah. You can't do that, except I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. But I'm just Amen. not hooked up to that. I'm not connected to what he's saying. I'm That's connected right. to the power of God because my yes, attention's sir. on the power of, on, on what God said. And my Amen. attention keeps saying what I, I keep saying what my attention's on. And Amen. I don't listen to that voice telling me I can't. Yeah. That table, Amen. everything yeah. that belongs to us, like you were talking spread, about, it's yeah. spread right there. It's spread there. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and he said, it's prepared. God has prepared a table before us in the presence of presence our enemy. In other words, man. there's an enemy behind us going, hey, right. hey, hey, look over yeah. here. Look over here. Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. hey. But God yeah. said, put your attention on that table. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. That's interesting, Dad. Could it be that one of the reasons that people struggle with their attention is because they haven't learned the life in the spirit. Yeah. Living yeah. life in the spirit. Because so many people assume that everything you see is it. But the no. Bible tells us that there's more that we don't see because what we see come out of things that are not. Exactly. Well, what did 2 Corinthians 4.18 said? We look not at things we seen. We look not at things that are seen. We look at what is not, not seen. seen. There's more than what we see. That's right. <laughs> and people and that's who don't the understand spirit realm, that. by the way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And that's, that's the realm that we are to function from. That's yeah. the realm that we are to be mindful of. That's the realm that we are to put our attention on. Yeah, and right. void of that, we just observe everything else and yeah. operate as if yeah. this is it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. I'm reminded of the story of uh, Elijah. Remember when, when, the, when the army of three nations came to arrest yeah. him? They were in the mountain with his uh, servant surrounded. And the servant came out, Gehazi came out and looked, they were surrounded by the enemy's army. And Gehazi started panicking. He said, Master, Master, we're surrounded. And Elisha said to him, they that are yes. with us are more. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. It, Gehazi was being troubled by attending to what he's able to see. But yeah. the moment Elisha was able to get him to switch his attention, to get him to recognize that, not, uh, that what you see is not all there is. Yes. There's more. Hallelujah. We just keep on that, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I mean, let's ask ourselves what's on that table. Yes, sir. Come on. I mean, the Bible said healing is the children's bread. That's right. So there's healing bread on that table. Yes, sir. There's peace on that table. Yes, sir. There's joy unspeakable on that table. Yes, sir. There's supply for every need on that table. Absolutely. Remember how, how Philippians 4, 19 says, my God shall supply all your need according mm -hmm. to your paycheck. No, sir. Huh? No, oh, sir. Did I quote something wrong? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> my God shall supply all your need according to what? His riches His in, glory. Riches in glory. glory. There's some things yeah. in the unseen realm yeah. that we need to tap into to make use of and Amen. turn our attention to Amen. in order to, take, to, to receive our needs met. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. So you're right. The, the unseen realm is what we're uh, now, what we're to put our attention on. Now, think about this. Mm -hmm. In fact, go to this verse, go to Hebrews chapter number. Well, go, let, let's see here. Let's, let's go to uh, Hebrews chapter number 11. But, mm -hmm. but uh, think in your mind while we're turning to Hebrews chapter number 11. Mm -hmm. Think in your mind about Proverbs chapter number four. Yes, sir. Proverbs 4, my son, attend to my words, mm -hmm. attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings, mm -hmm. let them not depart from thine eyes, mm -hmm. keep them in the midst of your heart. Right. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. My son, listen, attend to my words, keep them mm -hmm. in the midst of your heart, for their yeah. life to those that find them. Yes, sir. Now, in the King James, 
that's not real clear. The Hebrew mm -hmm. says, for find their life to those that find them. The Hebrew says, lay hold. Lay hold. Hallelujah. Lay hold. Hallelujah. Their life to those that lay hold. Of lay them. hold of it. Now, here's something the Lord said to me one time, Pastor I. Yes, sir. Because he said, my son, attend. He started out by saying, attend. Yeah. And then he said, lay hold. Lay hold, yeah. He said, the more attentively you look at something, the more your heart can lay hold of it. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. Now, look at what? Look at the unseen. Unseen. There are Hallelujah. things that are reality yes, that sir. are not seen. Come on. Somebody said, ah, it's not real. Oh, yes, it is. It's more real Come than on. this realm. That's right. Faith is the substance of things Faith. hoped for, the Faith. evidence of what? Faith. Things, things not seen. Not seen. seen. Yes, sir. The Amplified says the conviction of their reality. reality. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Faith Glory perceives as God. real fact what is yes. not amplified now is not mm -hmm. revealed to the senses. Yes, sir. It's real. It's, it's fact. Real. It's it reality. Is, yes. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 There are angels. Yes, there sir. is power to get well. Yes, sir. There is peace that passes. There, there's so much available to us in the, in the realm. Hallelujah. Of Amen. And Amen. we've got to lay hold of those things. That's mm -hmm. what the good fight of faith is all about. My son, first Amen. Timothy 6, 12. My son, he said, fight the good fight of good faith. Fight. Lay hold. Lay, lay hold. hold. Lay hold. hold. Lay yes. hold. Hallelujah. Lay hold. Lay hold. Not enough just to say, it's not enough to run up to them and gum them like a dog with no teeth and then run off and yeah, let it no, drop. You no. got to get a hold of what God says. Yes, yes, yes. Get a hold of what's in the unseen realm. Lay hold of Hallelujah. it. Say, I claim yes. it. I, I receive it. Yes, yes. But here's what it says very plainly in, yes. uh, in Proverbs 4.22. Mm -hmm. He said, their life to those that find them. Lay mm -hmm. hold of them. The yes. more attentively you look at it, yes. the better your heart can embrace it. And yes. the more you attend to it, the more of a reality things that are not seen become. Hallelujah. 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 They are reality, but they, they don't seem reality. very real to people who are not paying attention to them. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Praise God. So Hallelujah. we've got to learn to do that. How Amen. do you pay attention to things that are not seen? This book is, is it tells you everything that's in the unseen realm. Amen. And by attending to this, mm -hmm. you're attending. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This book is a road map of, of what's in the spirit. Hallelujah. It shows you everything that's in the spirit realm. It Amen. tells you all about the power of God. It tells that's you right. about the angels. It tells you about all the things we're talking about. Amen. All, Amen. He's blessed us with every spiritual blessing Bless in you. heavenly place. That Hallelujah. means in a realm that you can't see. And notice Praise he didn't God. say, where thou canst not touch it till thou diest. No, he didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're already blessed. He yes. has Hallelujah. blessed us. Praise God. Amen. But there are so many of these things are unseen. I, you got mm. me going, Pastor, right? Praise God. I'm telling you. I'm so going to blame you. This service is so good because of your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you trained me that way. So we'll take Amen. it. <laughs> Go ahead. You're going to say something. So you're saying that by us looking at the word, we will become one with that realm that we don't see. We yes. will become one with the supply. We will become one with everything that Jesus said that word is. Yeah. It reminds me of the Israelites in the wilderness. You remember when they were beaten by snakes? They were beaten by snakes and God told Moses to make a serpent on the pole, which was yeah. Jesus, you know? And the circumstance was very rough. I mean, they were dying. All right. And God said to them, the cure, yes. the cure, the cure to all that mess, to yeah. all that horrible situation yeah. was to look at that serpent on the pole, which represented Jesus, the Messiah yes. coming, which yes. represented healing. <clears throat> yeah. Well, John 3, Jesus quoted it. Yes, sir. He said, as the son, as the serpent, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the, on the pole. Yes, sir. So shall the Son of Man be lifted up, Make that it. whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Now, so when they were in, in the Old Testament, when they were looking at that serpent on the pole, yes, sir. Jesus said they were believing on him that was going to yes. be lifted up. That's it. So yes, sir. can you see the connection between when you believe, that means your attention is on. 
Amen. What you're believing. Now, when it says serpent on the pole, that's a mm-hmm. type of Jesus taking right. our curse. Why would that represent Jesus mm-hmm. if it's a serpent? Because the serpent represents the curse. That's right. And Jesus was made a curse for us. That's right. Galatians 3.13. Amen. So look at Jesus on the pole taking mm-hmm. your curse. Hallelujah. Keep your Praise. attention. Now, the Amplified there for Numbers 21, 9, I believe is what you're, what you're quoting, if I got the verse right. The Amplified yes, says, it doesn't just say look on, look on the pole. It says, with a steadfast, gaze. absorbing gaze. Hallelujah. Expectant, a steadfast, expectant, and absorbing gaze. Hallelujah. A gaze is not a glance. No, sir. No, sir. See, people no, come sir. to church on Sunday, and if any word is preached, they only glance at it, and then they go and they right. forget it. Right. That's not, that's not how you walk by faith. Walk no, by sir. faith means you absorb, yes. and you have a gaze. Your Hallelujah. attention is gazed and Praise focused God. on what Praise. God said. You're looking at Jesus, taking your curse, and you're yes. saying, he took it from me, therefore it's yep. not mine. I will not have it. Yep, yep. I'm, yep. I'm redeemed. That's what Jesus yep. taking our curse did for us. He redeemed us. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, but the circumstances don't say that sometimes, Pastor. Right? No, sir. They say, no, no sir. it's not so. It's not so. But just mm-hmm. like Abraham, you got to keep looking at what God said. Just keep looking keep at looking. what God said. You got to keep looking. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I'm faith, telling that, you. This. That's an expression of faith. That's an expression yes, sir. of faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's uh, also the second Corinthians 3.18. But we all, as in the glass, behold Beholding. the glory of of the Lord are changed yes. into the same. Yes. Become. Become. <laughs> Hallelujah. Change means you're becoming exactly you're what becoming. you're looking at. Yes, yes, yes. I tell people in our church sometimes, I said, if your daughter looks dresses like the latest Hollywood pop star, it's because that's mm-hmm. who they're looking at. That's it. That's it. Amen. Then you start becoming what you look at. That's right. You start right. your life starts going the direction you're looking at. Whatever you're that's looking right. at, that's the way you start looking, and that's the way your life starts going. Amen. But if Amen. you're looking at the word, your life will start looking like what the word says. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. I had a, a vision in healing school, Pastor Ike, years ago. Yes, sir. I was getting ready to preach a healing school service, and uh I kind of was in a side room there, and, and I had a vision. All of a sudden, I saw the people in the that were in the auditorium that day, actually. I saw them, and I, I don't remember how many people were there, but I, I would say about a third of them, if I remember right, were holding on. They had their arms around their sickness and their disease, mm-hmm. and they were embracing it and holding on to it. Now, while I'm talking, go to Hebrews 11:13. 13. Mm-hmm. Those of you that are out there in, that, in, in the watch center and watching online and so forth, because I want to read this verse as soon as I get done telling you about this vision. So I saw that in the spirit. I thought, wait a minute, wait a minute. These are people, these are people that came to healing school to be healed. Yeah. They, why on earth? They, obviously, if they're coming to healing school to be healed, they, they're not trying to hold on to their sickness. But in the vision, I saw some of them holding on to their sickness. Mm-hmm. I said, Lord, that doesn't make any sense to me. Why are you showing me? Why are they holding on to their sickness? And he said something from a verse. I heard the spirit say this Mm -hmm. when I had that vision, I heard the spirit say this. He said, what they are thinking on, they are embracing. Oh, come on. Yep. Uh, What they're thinking on, they are embracing. embracing. What they're thinking on, they are. In other words, they got their minds on all the symptoms, all that the doctor's report says. Yes. Amen. And that's where their attention is. They're thinking about it. That's and uh, what, what they're thinking on, they are embracing. Yeah. So, and he gave me this verse, Hebrews here, 11. Notice what it says in verse 13, talking about saints of old, <clears throat> the Old Testament mm-hmm. patriarchs. They all died in faith, not having received the promises, because really he's talking about Jesus coming and Jesus hadn't come yet. But, yes, but having seen them, <clears throat> excuse me, seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and mm-hmm. embraced them. Hallelujah. And confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. So notice what they did with the promises of God. They embraced them. Embraced them, right. Well, how do you do that? You do that with your attention, and you do that by your faith. Amen. You grab a hold of, you lay hold of them. But see, you can do that in reverse and make that very same principle work against you. 
by embracing right. what the devil's saying, embracing what the doctor's report said, embracing yeah. what the blabbermouth down the street said, embracing right. what the news report said. Right. Yes, sir. And you're vexed and you're tormented and your faith ain't working. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're yeah. holding on to other things other than the word of God. Yes, yes, but, yes. But that's not what Proverbs 4 said. He said, no, my sir. son, attend. Attend. And then their life to those that lay hold of them. So you can Amen. lay hold of things by attending yeah. them. Yes, yes, yes. Isn't that good? Amen. Doesn't that help yes, you? Sir. Hallelujah. Sure does. Yeah. Amen. The more attentively you get a hold of that statement. I want everybody that's out there to write this down. The more attentively you look at something, the, the more your heart can embrace it. Amen. In Amen. other words, your, your, your heart is able to lay hold of something as mm -hmm. your mind attends to it, and it comes into better view. It's, an it's in an unseen realm. The yes, healing that yes, belongs yes. to a person is in the unseen realm, but they yeah. can lay hold. They're, that can become clearer by attending. As yes. you attend to it, the reality yes. jumps off the pages, and it becomes very real. It was Amen. invisible, but now it's very real. Hallelujah. And now your heart can say, I take that. Amen. 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 Now, Hallelujah. Think of this, Pastor. I, yes, sir. The Lord said this to me one time. He said, my word is my delivery system. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's, in other words, that's you can receive something from the mm -hmm. word if that's your right. attention is on it. That's right. That's right. We have yeah. Nigerians might be able to understand this. We, your football is different than our football. Right. But if you've ever seen any of the U.S. football games, mm -hmm. you know, they in, in what Play we call hands. what you call football is what we call soccer. And that's using your uh, feet and you don't use your hands. But we throw in, in our football game, you know, it can be kicked, but it can also be thrown. You know, right. we, we pass the, the, the ball to a receiver mm -hmm. and that receiver has to run a pattern mm -hmm. and then turn around and receive the ball. Right. And he can't do that because because there's there's defenders out there that are trying to get to him and distract him and try to keep right. the ball from getting into his hands, so forth and so right. on. But mm -hmm. he's got to and some of them guys are about ready to hit him square. I mean, hit right. him hard. But yeah. if he's actually going to make that reception, mm -hmm. he can't be attending to the to the to the guys out there trying to take him out. He has That's to right. just run his pattern and keep mm -hmm. his attention on that ball. Ooh, come on, because he's running away from where it's where he's running towards the goal, but the, mm -hmm. but the ball's coming from behind. So he's got to turn around. He's got to receive that ball. Yeah. Yeah. And you yeah. can't receive it. If your attention is on other things, that's it. You can't receive it while, while you're, while you're looking at these guys. No, you got to look at where the ball's coming. Amen. And that's Amen. the way receiving from God is Amen. you have, you, you can't receive from God's word. God's word is his delivery system. The word yes. of God is the quarterback. Yes. <laughs> The word of Hallelujah. God is what throws the ball to you. Amen. But you, you can't receive from God unless your attention is on that word. Just like you, that receiver can't receive the ball unless his attention is on that ball. That's right. That's right. He sent his word and healed them. Hallelujah. <laughs> See, that's the delivery system. The word right. heals. Yes. That's yes. the delivery yes. system. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to do it. Hallelujah. I'm going to preach myself. Happy. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> That's similar to the same thing the Lord spoke to me in Nigeria. Because, you know, you give out the word, you teach the word. And the Lord spoke to me one day. He said that the, the people are having difficulty receiving because many of them have been conditioned by hardship. Yeah. Because that's all they've beheld over the years. That's all they've attended to. So it's built, it's conditioned them to the point that when the word comes, instead of allowing the word to break that pattern, to break that hold off of those things, they start questioning the word. Yeah. Oh, but it's been this way. I've been going through this for 20 years. My life has been this way for 20 years. It's been bad. It's been bad. It's been bad. And the Lord said to me, they've conditioned themselves through those hardships because of where they've held their attention. And yeah. as a result, they're not in a position to receive that word that is coming to deliver them, that yeah. is coming to pull them out. So I asked him, so what do you do? He said, just keep reminding them. If they will start attending to the word, yes. the word will cut 
off all those things away from them and will bring them into what yes. he has available. Yes. But right. they have to make a choice to, to, to just go with the word. I know he's been going for so long. There's nothing too hard for God. No. There's no condition that the word is not able to uproot. And that's the problem with some of our people. They want you to put a bandage on the cancer. They want you to just cover the stuff up. Yeah. Just give me something right now. The word never covers darkness. The word is light. Yes. And when it comes, yes. it comes to uproot every darkness. It's yes. not going to leave you with traces of darkness here, traces of darkness there. So if you're not willing to let go of darkness, you would have trouble receiving. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, like it says about Abraham, he considered not. He considered not. We've got to turn. I think about Hebrews chapter number. We're familiar with Hebrews chapter number 12. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, let us run with patience. The race is looking for us. Looking unto Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Looking unto Jesus. Hallelujah. The Amplified says, looking away from, from all, all that will distract. Will distract. All God. you've gone through and all those years of hardship are a distraction. That's right. From the word of God. Yes, sir. Amen. They're trying to lock your mind up in, in, in what you've experienced and think, make you think that's the only thing. I love something. I mentioned him yesterday. But, you know, I've never met him, but Bishop Yedipo made a statement. Uh, he made this statement. He said, I guess I've had tests and trials. I just haven't noticed. Right. That's it. What is that? That's a man that is considering not. Amen. No wonder God's using him the way he's using. No wonder yes, yeah. he's walking where he's walking with God. Yes, sir. Because Amen. his attention is completely on what God said, not on all this out here. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. And you can do that. Absolutely. If we can't do that, God's unjust to require us to do it. All right. Yep. Amen. Amen. I've gotten to the place in my life. It's just sin. To keep on looking at all the devil's saying, all the devil. So this person's doing that. And this person mm -hmm. said that. And this circumstance is telling me I can't. And I've gotten to the place. It's just sin in my life to always be saying what the devil's saying. That's always right. be going back and say, well, you know, but the devil, the devil. I remember mm -hmm. Charles Capps said one time, he said, the Lord, he was going to the Lord and talking to, <laughs> telling the <laughs> Lord, some of the things the devil was saying, the devil said this, the devil said that. And God said, I wish you'd stop telling me everything the devil is saying. Amen. You know Amen. what I mean? Yes, sir. In other words, why don't you bring to me what I'm saying? Yes. That's yes. faith. Amen. That's faith. Amen. Faith just gives, goes and tells God, says, thank you for what you said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. The word is true. Hallelujah. Glory, Glory be to, to God. God. Amen. <laughs> so, so as a minister then, it, it'll be a great help to the people to point them towards what Jesus has done for them. Exactly. Instead of exactly. elevating what the devil is doing, yeah. come for special prayer for deliverance from what the devil is doing. Come for that to be freed from what the devil is doing. Yeah. Because all that's doing is making the devil the focus of people's lives. Exactly. Instead that's of the exactly blessing. Exactly what he wants. He wants. Yeah, answer. and that's what he wants. If he can get your attention, he's got your whole life. That's it. He can get your attention, you're his for the rest, the rest of, you're useless for the kingdom of God. And That's you're it. very valuable to Satan's kingdom. Yeah. For the yeah. rest of your life. Yeah. I've unhooked from it. Not living Amen. Me too. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. Let's talk a little bit more here about how many of the verses we go to when we talk about walking by faith and so forth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Many of those verses, if you look at them closely, they mention our attention. Yes, sir. Now, we don't believe God with our minds. Right. Bible, the Bible says in uh, Romans 10, 9 and 10, with the heart, man, man believes. Yes, sir. Amen. We don't believe God with our minds. We believe God with our inward man, with our heart. Yes. Remember, yes. trust in the Lord with all your heart, heart. and lean not lean unto God. your own understanding. Yes, sir. So we don't believe God with our mind, but the, right. but the mind or the attention has a role before faith and during a walk of faith. Hallelujah. The role before faith is to meditate in the word of God day and night. Yes, sir. And get that seed planted in our hearts. Yes, sir. Because the doorway to the heart is the mind. That's right. 
That's why he said, listen very closely to Proverbs 4. You can't get away from Proverbs 4 on all this. No, sir. My mm-hmm. son, attend. Attend. First thing mm-hmm. he said was, where's your, where, where's your attention going? Hey, my amen. son, attend. Where? To my words. Incline thine hey. ears unto my saying. Let not depart mm-hmm. from thine eyes. Mm-hmm. See, the, where are your eyes? You can, you can try to pay attention to something, but your eyes are over here and your ears are listening to something else. You can't pay attention to something with your eye, eyes and ears on something else. That's right. So my son, attend to my words. Mm-hmm. See, it's not enough just to drive down the street listening to the word of God. That's good. I don't mean don't, I don't mean don't do that. But, right. but but there needs to be time where your whole being is absorbed yes. in it. Hallelujah. Amen. Attend to my words, incline thine ear, eye on ears unto my saints. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Then notice what he said. Keep mm-hmm. them in the midst of oh, your heart. heart. Praise God. How did they get Hallelujah. in your heart? By attending, by attending looking, and listening. Hallelujah. Faith comes Hallelujah. by hearing. Amen. Yes. But the doorway Amen. is your attention. Yes. So faith has a, excuse me, your attention has a role before faith. And yes. then during faith, which what I mean during faith, once you've mm-hmm. gotten to the place, you believe what God said, you receive right. what God said, and now mm-hmm. you're, you're saying what God said rather than what your circumstances are saying, what the devil's yes, saying and all that. Yes, you're mm-hmm. standing in faith. Mm-hmm. Your, 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 your attention still has a role to help you. And the role now is to protect that faith. Yes, sir. It protects it by not letting anything else into the heart through the mind gate. Amen. Through the attention gate. Yes, sir. Does that make sense? Yes, so sir. When you're in faith, mm-hmm. you can guard your faith. Yes. By guarding your mind. Amen. Let's put it this way. You can guard your heart. Because remember Proverbs 3? Our Proverbs mm-hmm. 4 says, tend them and so forth. Let them not depart mm-hmm. from mine. Keep them in the midst of your heart. And then he said, for uh, out of the heart are the issues of Choose life. He said, life. guard your heart, for out of it are the issues of life. How do you right. guard your heart? You guard the doors. If I'm going to guard this building, we're in a building here. If I'm going to guard mm-hmm. this building, I'm going to guard the doors. That's right. To guard your heart, you have to guard you, the doors to your heart. And he already told you in the first three verses what the door, 20, Proverbs 4, 20 through 22, 23, what the doors of the heart are. Yes. Are there your attention, your eyes and your ears? Amen. So when we, when we talk about these verses about faith, mm-hmm. you just gave one of them. We talk about uh, believing on Jesus. He's hanging mm-hmm. on the pole. Right. And that, is, that verse is brought out of the serpent on the pole, and it's referring to Jesus. Yes, sir. On the cross. Jesus himself yes, said to him, John chapter mm-hmm. number three. As mm-hmm. Moses lifted up the serpent, so the son of man will be lifted up. Mm-hmm. Whosoever believeth, when they yeah. looked with a steadfast and absorbing gaze, that's, that's part right. of believing God. Amen. That's part of believing. You won't see while they're looking on the serpent on the pole, there's snakes crawling into their baby's crib. Mm-hmm. Think about that. Come on. <laughs> mm. No, no. Look, look. Look, Hallelujah. look, with a, an absorbing gaze. God's Hallelujah. getting through to somebody right now. It's finally yes. starting to set in on somebody's heart and mind right out there. Amen. Just look. Just keep looking. Just look. Just keep looking. Mm. Don't consider. Amen. Just keep looking. Just keep looking. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that's a faith verse, but mm. it involves the attention. We mm. looked at Romans chapter number four, talking about Abraham's faith. Right. He, can, he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. But part of that was considering not. Yes, yes, That's yes. his attention. Amen. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Let's think of some other verses. I'm just going through some verses that if you look at them very closely in the uh, New Testament, they, they involve the attention. We just, we just looked at Matthew 6. Right. He said, take no thought, take no thought, and don't be of little faith. So in the middle right. of talking about faith, he said he kept talking about the attention. Yes. Isn't that interesting? That's very interesting. Yes. So what we see then is an expression of our faith to hold our attention on what God said. Yes, yes, What yes. we're believing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and listen, the reason that's a battle, sometimes, Pastor Ike, I don't mean a battle with, against the devil. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a discipline that we have yes. to control our attention and keep it on the Word of God. The reason yes. we have to do that is because there are things screaming at our attention trying to yes. tell us the word of God's not so. Amen. Trying to tell us it's not going to mm-hmm. come to pass. Yeah. All the heroes, heroes of faith mm-hmm. in Hebrews 11, mm-hmm. all of them, you see that every single one of them had something to get their attention off of. 
Yes, yes, yes. Something that was trying to get their attention. Yes, sir. And in order for them to have what God said, they had to, they had to consider something, consider not. <laughs> Amen. Think about Abraham. He had to not consider his body. That's right. And, and Sarah's body. Daniel yes. was in faith. Mm -hmm. to be he said god will deliver me out of the mouths of the lions but how many of you know he had to consider not the lions that's right that's right oh man that's that'd be right. a temptation ah, I'm you know, ah. <laughs> his just attention was what on god said yes 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 shadrach yes. meshach and abednego yeah they had to consider not the flames mm -hmm. <laughs> amen yeah that's right the burning fiery furnace yeah yeah yeah. I'm telling you, this is, this oh, is free. This, no longer freedom. can the enemy put up, you know, here in the United States, I don't know if they do it mm -hmm. over there. They put a, a, a ring in a bull's nose mm -hmm. and they can lead him around, put a rope yeah, in that yeah, ring and they can lead yeah. him around. The yes. devil's got a ring in people's mind and they just, he just leaves. He just yeah. screams yeah. over here and is yeah. boisterous over here and puts yeah. up big, loud circumstances over here. And he's just yeah. leading them around, leading them around. I refuse That's to right. have a hook in my nose and no, follow sir. the devil around. No, sir. I Amen. don't move. No, sir. Unless God has talked to me. Amen. 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 So Amen. go ahead. No, I was going to say that people need to realize that because in the culture, in, in the way so many people uh, operate, they assume if you're not running around trying to uh -huh. get something done, you are not doing something. God hasn't called it, us to be frantic. God has not called us to be fr frantic. No. It's not our running around acting like we're victims that makes us receive from God. In yeah. fact, it keeps us from receiving from yeah. God. So for many people, realizing that you can be just calm, settled, even in the midst of of horrible circumstances you oh, are yeah. in faith and yes. you will receive and just in calm peace. yourself down <laughs> hallelujah Amen. glory to god there's a difference between activity and fruit yes sir yes sir. you can be active but bearing yep. no fruit bearing no fruit yes sir. you're all frantic it's all frantic activity yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. you look uh, you're, you're you're impressing other people but Come not on, God, not, not God. God. Amen. He's not impressed with that friend. No, sir. Activity. Not at all. Amen. He's more impressed. Be still and know, and know. that I am God. Hallelujah. <laughs> glory <laughs> to God. Amen. Oh, glory be to God. <laughs> Praise let the, God. The, see, you don't have to fight the battle. You let the no, word sir. go fight the battle. Let the word do it. Amen. Remember he said in the Old Testament to the people of God, stand ye still and yeah. see the salvation and of the Lord. Hallelujah. Woo! Praise that doesn't God. that doesn't sound like run around frantic with like a chicken with no. its head cut off neck, like you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> right, 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 right. No, he you said see. just stand still. Thank and you. let that word fight that battle. Amen. <laughs> we don't have to respond to every feeling. No. We don't have to run after every smoke. Every we thought. can just we can just sit still on the word, yes. knowing that the power in that word is able to bring us through. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's faith. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Amen. Amen. So, so you know, it takes it takes discipline. Yes, sir. Because there's always something trying to yakety yak yak. Oh something yeah. Trying to get our attention. Yes, sir. You know, I told about, you know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Daniel. Mm -hmm. I mean, just think about, for example, Peter walking on the water. Yes. That was a loud, boisterous voice. Amen. The Bible says even about Jesus, mm -hmm. it says that uh, he endured the shame. Yes, yes, yes. And despised the shame. Yes, yes. Because he endured because yep. of the joy set before that was him. set before him he yep. was looking right past the cross <laughs> mm -hmm. to the victory Hallelujah. And you and i being redeemed he's looking Hallelujah. right at us praise and all god. the pain all the stripes and everything he, he he the bible said he endured all that for the joy that was set before him. his attention was what what was set before him amen Ooh, glory amen hallelujah hallelujah amen amen that's good that's good word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so there's always something, always a voice, always circumstances. Yes, sir. Uh, God has something better for us than to live, you know, just running from each one fire to another, just putting out fires. Come on. 
Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So, Hallelujah. amen. You got anything else, Pastor Rock? I pretty much got out what I was going to share this morning. Uh, I was going to say, too, that with people, you can go in and out of, you know, you can have your attention on the word today and tomorrow on something else and yeah. expect your faith to work. Yeah. It's not like, okay, I attend a little bit because people have a way of making everything religious. Okay, I did this and I check it. I did this, I yeah, check, check it. The box, right? this, yeah, this is talking about us holding firm until somebody asks, you know, how long do I have to do this? How long, how do I know that I've attended to the word long enough until it changes how you see yourself? Yes, amen. Until it changes your view of you because once it changes the view of you the enemy has no grasp anymore yes over that's you right. that's so right. so you just continue you continue until how you see yourself changes until you no longer see yourself as a victim until right. you no longer see yourself as limited as, until you no longer see yourself as uh i don't have i don't have i don't have yeah. you begin to see yourself i am my father's child I am an heir of God. Yes. Whatever yes. God has belongs to me. Why? Because your yes. attention has been set on it. And the spirit of God, as you attend it, will build the image of that same yes. word you attend it until it gets so big inside of you that you oh, explode yeah. in victory. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. <laughs> your faith is enjoying it on the inside before it ever sees it on the outside. Yes, sir. Amen. Because you're just, you're just absorbed in the realities of the unseen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So this is the life God has for us. Amen. You know, Amen. somebody said that you, you were saying, how long do I need to do this? The rest of your life. 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 Yeah. We get, get to do it. You get to enjoy Hallelujah. the unseen realities of God's word for the Amen. rest of your life. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise Amen. God. Amen. So, so I want to encourage people that you can do this. Yes, when sir. I was first, when God first started dealing with me as a teenager of what I had done, opened my mind and so forth to the enemy, mm -hmm. it seemed like an impossible task mm -hmm. to get a hold of my attention. Yes, sir. But the Lord said to me, I wouldn't ask you to do something you couldn't do. Right, right. So I knew the greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I can do this. Amen. Thank God I did. Hallelujah. Amen. It's right. worth every effort Everything. you put into it. Yes, sir. To, to yes, learn sir. to practice keeping your attention. You know, <clears throat> people said in church, and <clears throat> if the word is being preached, their, their attention is on other people and, you know, counting the lights and other things. You got you to gotta develop that discipline. Amen. Develop the discipline of attending to what God said. Yeah, yeah. You remember Abraham, God's trying to get an image. You talk about that image. He's trying to yes, get sir. an image on the inside of him of yes, his sir. seed and yeah. how numerous they would be. He said, go out and yep. look at the stars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Try to count them, Abraham. He yes, yes, yes. Track. Count Come up on. to 125, lost track. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, God, and while he was looking at the stars, Come on. God spoke to him. Praise but God. So shall thy seed be. Mm. Here's what I want you to hear. When mm. you're attending, that's when he speaks. Hallelujah. That's when Ooh. he speaks. Hallelujah. When God doesn't talk to me, well, turn your attention to it. Turn and your keep attention. absorbing yourself in it. Yes. All of a sudden, he'll go, that's you. And you go, Whoa! Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> you see yes. what you what he said. Amen. You see it. Yes. You see yourself in the image of God. Amen. Like you said there in what was that first Corinthians 3, 18. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are changed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beholding Hallelujah. are changed. Yeah. Not Amen. by attention on something else changed. No, beholding. Yeah. In yeah. other words, the first things that change are the inner image. Yes, sir. How you Amen. see yourself. 
Amen. These outward things, they'll change as a result they'll of the change. inward change. That's right. That's right. Faith That's has right. experience of it on the inside first. Amen. Glory Hallelujah. to God. The Lord said to me one time, you cannot become what you haven't taken time to see. Yeah. Yeah. And when you see it, you see it by gazing into the word, beholding the word until that word transmits into you. Giving There's an you image pictures. in you. Yes, yes, yes. This Bible, especially yes, the, the epistles of the New Testament, mm -hmm. these are God's family photo album. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. <laughs> and, and you look in there, you know, yeah. you, somebody takes a picture of your family. You're all standing there and they take your picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get the picture. <laughs> Who's the first person you look for? Myself. Yeah. <laughs> look for yourself. How do I look? You know? Yeah. That's well, that's right. the way you're supposed to look at God's family photo album. Amen. You look in here. Oh, that's me. Ooh, that's me. Yeah, greater is he that's, that's in me than me. he that's Hallelujah. in me. That's me. That's me. I'm blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Ooh, that's me. That's me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By his stripes, I'm healed. I see myself. There's a picture of me right there. That's me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But uh, uh, you remember James said, James is talking about that same mirror. He said, be doers of the word, not hearers only. Man that hears the word and goes away and doesn't do it. He's like a man beholding, himself. beholding mm -hmm. himself in the mirror. Growth. Yep. Amen. <laughs> he beholds That's right. himself. That's right. And he goes his way and forgets what manner of man he was. Yeah. But whoever looks yeah. and, and doesn't forget, yes, that man will be blessed. Praise God. In other words, he looks until he sees who he really is. That's and right. And he doesn't forget that. That's right. And he holds that image. Doesn't let that Praise image God. get away from him. If Praise these God. things are not important, Pastor Ike, if the image you have of yourself, well, how you see yourself, because you can see yourself in your own, own mm -hmm. my, the image of your own imagination, or you can see yourself as God mm -hmm. sees you. Right. The word of God is how God sees us. That's right. If how you see yourself is not important, mm -hmm. why does the devil fight so hard in this area? Come on. He tries over and over again to get you to see yourself in a different image than the way God sees you. That's it. It's That's a it. daily, almost moment by moment thing. Yes. That he's yes. trying yes. to keep your attention off of how God sees you. That's it. Yep. So it's a big deal. Yep. It's a big deal to faith. That's right. It is. Yes, sir. Amen. Yep. How you Amen. see yourself is the blueprint of faith. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. It's what Praise faith God. takes and, and recreates in that image. Glory how you to see God. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. So, awesome. so it's important. Yes, sir. Praise People God. People think they have faith struggles, but really they have attention issues. Attention problems. That they're, not, yes. they're not paying attention to what God said. And yes. pay attention to it until you see it. Yes, amen. There's a, uh, something they do here. Sometimes there's, there's a thing in, uh, I don't know. It's like a game, I guess, or however you want to say it. It's called a hologram mm -hmm. and somebody threw ink and, and drawing on a page. They put a, uh, I've seen it like a picture of Jesus or something, mm -hmm. but then they put a lot of other dots around that picture after they've drawn, they draw it with dots, mm -hmm. draw the picture with dots. And then all around that, they put a whole lot more dots. And if you just, if you just glance at the page, you don't see the picture of Jesus, the, the drawing right. of Jesus on that page. But mm -hmm. what they tell you to do is they tell you to hold it there and just sort of stare through it. Yeah. You just stare at it. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you'll see it. Yes. I'm like, wow, there's, I see the, the picture made out of dots. I see Jesus' face. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the way the word of God is. Your, your picture is in there. That's right. This is God's family photo album. That's right. He says, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You're blessed with all these spiritual blessings. That's you. That's you. Amen. That's, that's you. his picture that's of you. Me. That's how Hallelujah. he sees you. Amen. But you got to keep looking at it like that hologram before. Whoa, there's me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory you in God. Christ, not you that's in right. the flesh, but you that's in Christ. Right. He's Amen. made us, the Bible says, that Jesus was made sin, that we might be made, made the righteousness, the righteousness of, God of God in Christ. In People don't Christ. see themselves as the righteousness of God. They see themselves. Oh, I know myself. I got so many faults. I'm, yeah. I'm so unworthy. God mm -hmm. couldn't bless me. So forth. Well, no, wait a minute. You're not looking at God's picture of you. Right. You're not looking at how he sees you. That's it. 
And if you have, it's only been a glance and you glance away right. and you forgot it. And you didn't, you can't see that hologram picture, but just mm -hmm. a glance. You got to keep right. looking and keep looking. Finally, it'll jump off the page at you. Amen. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's why I'm different. I Amen. walk different. I talk Me different. Too. I lean Hallelujah. in my car different. I'm different. Praise it changed God. the word got inside it, of me. It, it changed inside. me from the Praise inside out. God. I Hallelujah. used to pastor Ike. I used to, if somebody <laughs> didn't like me, I felt bad. I thought, whoa, I don't know why they don't like me. I guess I'm not a very likable guy. And I felt bad for myself. Now, if people don't like me, I feel bad for them. For well, them. That's right. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a blessing. That's right. Amen. Oh, he's so proud. Amen. I'm talking about in Christ. In Christ. Glory in Christ. God. Amen. Praise and this God. will apply to anybody, anywhere. It doesn't matter whether you're in Nigeria or you're in Burkina oh. Faso or you're in the United States. The word knows no boundaries and God is not a respecter of person. That's right. You can become what the word said that Amen. you are if you will set your attention to it. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Praise God. Thank you for being a part of this broadcast, Pastor Ike. Wow. We enjoy it's, it's an honor, the man. fellowship. We get together, those of you watching, we get together, he and I and his precious family, Pastor Gerilyn, I think she's watching, and his children. We just love feasting on the Word of God. Amen. 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 And it's a great joy to be connected with you and your family and what God's doing. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And, uh, we're going we're gonna to see Niger, the word of God, get out in Nigeria. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Your assignment is, is multiple different things God has you doing there, <clears throat> pastoring yes, a church. Yes, sir. Uh, taking this message to Nigeria, ministering yes, to sir. ministers. My main yes, assignment is just to be a spiritual father Amen. to uh, you and other ministers as God uh, you know, puts it on people's hearts. And we yes, want to continue. Those of you that are watching, we want to continue to feed you and bring yes, you sir. these truths Amen. and uh, speak into your life. Amen. So, you know, thank you for being a part of this. And uh, we look God. forward to uh, sowing the seed of God's word more and more into your lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Dad, we're so grateful. Thank you for taking the time to feed us that word and to nurture us. And um, we give you one promise. We'll be doers of the Amen. word. Amen. We'll be doers Amen. of the word. Amen. Praise we're God. so very grateful. I know we wouldn't be where we are if it wasn't for your obedience to the things of God to impart into us the word, the truth, and um, and we're going to keep on walking in it. Amen. Amen. 